Although I don't really like generalization, but we have to recognize men and women are different. They have different ways to analyze a situation and to solve it. I think women should really see that difference as a strength and not a weakness. Some compromises are definitely needed. When my kids were young, I was not the most present mom. I always favor quality time than quantity. But at least they could see a happy working mom. And it's still the case today. It's very important to invest our free time in regenerating activities. I'm inspired by people who are fighting for their ideas and beliefs. Uh, I can give you some examples like uh, Simone Veil, everybody knows her, or uh, Emmanuel Faber, he was the former CEO of Danone. And maybe a last example, uh, Virginie Rio, who was our guest two years ago. She, she was the first uh, woman uh, integrating the Patrouille de France. When there is a professional opportunity, I can see that men often find good reasons to accept it. Women, at the opposite, will find reason to, to not accept it. We are a bit more afraid. So my advice is believe in you and dare to take risk. So I have a mantra. If you don't like a situation or if you don't like something, you have to change it. Because if you don't change it, then you should better like it, uh, accept the situation and try to see the positive sides of it. So for me, statu quo is not an option.